Yo, what's up people, it's your boy P, also known as Captain P67. We're back here today for some more Last Epoch content for you. So if you are new to my channel and my content, um, I do cover multiple games. However, I love Last Epoch. I've been blasting this game a hell of a lot way before launch and up to launch and 24 hour stream on launch and every single day since launch and we're on the new cycle. So I'm always covering, I've done a, literally a YouTube video for all the uniques in the game already. And with the new cycle coming out, there's lots of new uniques and other items I will be covering. So um, a lot of them got a lot of hits and I got a lot of good feedback from a lot of people. And uh, I'm going to continue the same format, I think, because one, I love the new uniques anyway. And we're back to cover an amazing one right now. But I just love having uh, newer stuff added to a game and newer builds to make and obviously go through as well as farm. So not only will we be target farming day one, we're going to be going over the builds and uh, put them together. And if I do make a video about it and I don't cover that much information, I sometimes leave it and leave my Twitch links in because it also allows people to not only see just the basic description of the item, but then you can also join the stream. And I can interactively show you how it works and as well as describe it so I can give you like a in-depth tutorial if you join the streams. And I kind of like that format. So what we're going to do today is, without further ado, I found one of the new uniques, which I think is going to be a bit of a game chain. I think it's probably going to be the most sought after unique so far. So post in the comments below if you feel any different or if there's any other uniques that you feel this way about. But without further ado, the newest unique is called the Nihilis, which is an amulet. Now, it's a unique unbound locket. Now, what's so amazing about this is, we'll just go over the stats really quick. And then I'll just go over the way it works and why it's going to be one of the most sought after, I believe. And um, it's just insane. So with the implicits off base, you get more health. So if you get lucky, you could get 12% health max. So if you get on the lower end, you get 1%. But 1%, 12%, it's still increased, so it's great. The same thing goes for the increased mana. So you can get 1% increased mana or 12%, which is amazing. Now, this is where it gets a bit tricky because the way they've described it is one of the first uniques in the game where you actually get negative stats as well. Uh, as well as top of the bonuses, you could get more than one. So if you read here, the implicit, you can get negative 4 or you can get negative 8 increased movement speed. Now some people might think that's really bad, which is understandable to a degree. However, you obviously got other items or other accessories or armors, etc. to put on. So you could get a lot of movement speed. And if you're only getting hindered by 4%, that's going to be absolutely nothing. So straight away you can negate that, which is a options are there. But again, if you're not sure how this all works, I can explain it on stream when you join the stream. Now this one for me just seemed like a game changer straight away. You can get plus one or plus two to all level of all skills. So one to two to level of all skills. Now, anytime you can get a plus one to like a specific skill, like a minion skill or a melee or a dexterity skill or intelligence or necrotic, etc., that's great. But the fact you can have plus one or two to all skills, that's literally a game changer right there because in some of the passive, sorry, some of the skill nodes, there's you put your main points in your base 20. And there's some terms you want to like proc one or two and you could build, could be even godly. But with this adding on plus some other armor pieces, you could probably could reach a lot of different um, points on the skills and hit those, you know, those peak brackets. So you could do mega, mega damage off a skill, but mega, mega defense. So even with the two alone, that's just a game changer. It's just insane. So I personally think this is going to be one of the craziest uniques to get and farm for. On top of that, the level of all skills is just bonkers. So I'm definitely hyped to get it and definitely hyped to see what I can do with it in all the builds I'm going to play with. Now, the next one we got to is, again, is a ne the negative part I mentioned. So, on the first one, we got negative 20%. You could get that to increase mana regen up to 50% plus. So, again, depending on the role, you might get a mix of some positives, some negatives. You might get Godly and get all positives, which would be great with some LP or the new system. If potentially, you could add Weave as well as well, the way they explained it. Could be bonkers. And then the next one is the armor. So, same again. You got negative, either negative 10% armor or 20% more armor. Um, and then resistances, negative 5% to all resistances or plus 15% to all resistances as well, which again is just absolutely bonkers. And finally, 10 to 20% of current health and ward lost when you use evade. So evade is a new skill added in the game. It doesn't have any iframes, so it's not a case of using it to iframe and changing it for a traversal skill. However, you could have it on your build if your build is that potent without a traversal skill and just have the evade included. And you're only gonna you, you're only gonna lose that health and ward when you evade. So, for example, if you've already got a traversal skill and you don't want to use evade, you don't have to. You could just use that traversal skill. You won't even lose that. 
So that negative won't even uh, be a factor in your build anyway, which is godly. But obviously if you do use evade, it has a cooldown anyway, so it's not as if you're going to be pucking it a lot. So that's what I'm saying. In regards to this amulet, I just think it's bunk because it's insane. Uh, so I'm definitely looking forward to any more uniques, new uniques they might be adding like this or this path I'll be interested in. And then the last one, so that wasn't the last at least, but this is the last, last one there, um, is the Frenzy. So you also get 1.2 seconds to 4 seconds of Frenzy after you use Evade. So where I just mentioned you won't be using Evade, if for any reason you want to use Evade or you do get forced to use Evade, like your traversal skill is on a cooldown, you will get a buff. So you might lose a bit of health and ward at the time. But at the same time, you will get Frenzy, which will give you a buff to do more damage. And that Frenzy buff grants you 20% increased attack and cast speed by default. It cannot stack. So you're going to get a massive buff to your attack speed and cast speed if you evade on the end. Now, it's covered all the related abilities. So, for example, the Prime Minister's got that there. So it's basically a universal mod. It's a universal amulet, I call it. So it works for every single class and every build. And the Frenzy is explained again in there. But that is the Nihilis for you so again i will be covering all the uniques if you want me to do a full video where i cover them all one by one and go from separate or go from separately just let me know in the comments below but i really wanted to cover it because i do think this is going to be the goal to the most sought after and myself include i will be doing a 12 hour stream minimum on the same day i did a 24 hour stream on launch but when i say 12 hour, i don't mean just 12 hours and ends i just mean we'll do 12 hours minimum if we go over we'll go over and then i'll just sleep behind me and then as soon as i have a Two hours, three hours rest, we'll get back to blasting. So we're going to be on EPAC hardcore like we always are. It's going to be a hell of fun. But uh, links will be in the description below. So if you did enjoy the content enough and you would like to support in any way, shape or form, the Twitch links, you could follow the channel. You can sub, give the sub, you can tip, you can donate. And if you want to support the YouTube channel in any way, shape or form, you can subscribe to my YouTube channel. You can like the video. You can comment in the video as well. So again, just let me know what your thoughts are. If you think this is the most sought after or you're not as hype about it, and maybe there's some other uniques. I went for all the uniques on today's stream and it was just phenomenal to go for more. So just let me know what your thoughts are and go from there. But apart from that, thanks for the time. Wherever you are, have a good morning, have a good night, have a good evening. I will catch you on the next one. Take it easy and peace out.